going on guys welcome to another gun review today i got something new this is a taurus model a56 chambered in 38 special let's take a look at it beautiful piece Stainless steel, six shots. You know, um, back in the day, um, I actually had a Taurus revolver. I went to the gun show, bought a Model 85, which is, which this gun pretty much is based off of. Uh, it was the one with the pearl grips. It was the one with the pearl grips and loved it, man. I paid 400, I think 410 for it, 415 at the time and took it to the range. And it, it was the stainless with the white pearl grip with the gold trigger. If you guys remember those. And when I took it to the range, you know, I loaded it. That one held five rounds, not six. So I loaded it with six. Went to shoot, shot fine. Then I put five more in, loaded it, went to shoot, and it said it did nothing. It clicked, clicked, nothing. It didn't even move. Actually, I don't think it clicked. It just didn't move. It didn't move. It just the cylinder locked on me. You know, like, what is going on? And I went to the range master and he helped me get it open. And at the, you know, now that I think about it, some back then, almost all the Taurus revolvers had this goofy little lock right here that would lock. It was like supposed to be a safety lock. You just like put a hex key in and you turn it, locks it to prevent people from uh, getting a hold of it and accidentally firing at your kids or something like that. God forbid. But, until I sold it because I was pissed off because I, I didn't like that. It, it just pissed me off. I didn't think that that could have been what it was, but I just didn't even want to waste any time with it. And I just got rid of it, man. Now that I think of it, I think that's what it was. And as you can see, they don't have it anymore. It got rid of it. I think that thing was causing a lot of problems with a lot of the Taurus revolvers. So I think they dumped it. But I think some revolvers from Taurus still have that because I've seen a couple on Buds and it still had the trigger, the safety system whatever you want to call it still attached to it but the model 85 i guess that was the it took me a while to figure out what that meant so i guess the eight means 38 as in 38 special and the five i guess that means how many rounds that the gun held and that was five this one is a model 856 it says it here right there so i guess that means it's a uh, model 85 that shoots six so i guess that's what the 856 stands for and this one has the taurus rubber grips feels really good feels better than that pro one i had absolutely um the weight if i can remember on the pro one was a little light i guess because the cylinder was small it was a five shot i think that one was an ultra light this one is not an ultra light this is a regular uh this shoots plus p ammo which i don't really shoot in my in my guns Rather basic sights, you know, standard sights for most revolvers, especially in this price point. Uh, decent trigger. I mean, it's a little heavy, but it's cool. It'll smooth out after a while. Uh, only thing I could say about this gun, so far I haven't shot it yet. So uh i'll be getting it out to the range soon and i might make a video about it it's kind of hard for me to get out to the range there's a lot of things going on but i will get it out to the range when i can what i will say though when it compares to like uh i think i i actually i paid 360 i think i paid 360 for this gun when it compares to other revolvers in its size and you know when it comes to like the price the price point, the charter arms, 
uh, the Smith and Wesson 637. I was going to run you a little bit more than this. This one is right under 400 bucks. The Smith and Wesson is going to run you about 430, like around that 440. The Charter is going to probably be around the same price as this or a little less, maybe 320, 330 for the Charter Arms. But nonetheless, I'm um, giving Taurus another shot. You know, no pun intended. Hopefully, this one turns out to be good because, you know, um, from what I've been hearing, Taurus been stepping it up. This is my second Taurus purchase since I've had issues with two other with two Tauruses I had, which was that 38. And I had a Taurus TCP that was very, very finicky. One minute it'd shoot, then it won't shoot. Didn't matter what ammo it was. It'll fire fine after like 10, after 12 rounds. Put another six rounds in, it'll jam three of them and shoot the other three. Another mag in, it'll shoot five and then jam the other one. It was all, and then the next mag, it'll shoot everything. It was just all over the place. Dumped it. But if I ever see one on the used market, I wouldn't mind getting one, playing around with it a little bit. But those uh, Taurus TCPs was very hit or miss, man. Now Taurus got the Spectrum and the Curve out. And uh, I'm not sure how good the Spectrums are. Maybe I'll get around to getting one of those one day. But for right now, this is my new revolver haven't haven't bought a revolver in a while man the, the quality seems pretty this is matte stainless quality seems pretty good look like taurus stepped it up a, a bit from from uh normal from the old a lot of people in the past said taurus they swore by taurus uh uncle said that they're great guns in the past they were great guns a lot of people still don't trust them Gotta give him, gotta give him another chance, man. I mean, if if they re, if they are reinventing themselves, why not go ahead and uh give a company another shot, man? You know, that's just where I'm at with it. But yes, that is my new baby that I am added that I add to the stash. Also comes in black. Um, I think I've seen some with with pink grips for your woman if you get her one of these. They have pink rubber grips, I think. The older ones, the 85s, came in all kind of... They have brown walnut grips, pink pearl grips, white pearl, black pearl. They had the black rubber ones. Then they had one that was black and stainless. It was... it was. They had so many different colors to the 85. This one, the, 80, the 856, I only saw the, seen in the stainless and black. No other colors. And I love it, man. I, I, I've been wanting another snub nose for quite some time. I've been buying everything else. I haven't had the time to really sit down and look through which snub I want. But I have quite a few revolvers on the horizon, man. Uh, Lord willing, you guys will see some more and some more action on the channel to come, man. But this is my Taurus Model 856 Chamberlain 38 Special. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later on the next one, and I'm out.